Vikings, Valhalla creator Jeb Stewart explains Leif Erikson's brutal breakdown in season finale's final battle and teases how the character will grow. Begin anew in Christ. But there are Christians in Kattegat. Valhalla is a sequel to the show Vikings, which aired on History from 2013 to 2020. Both series are historical dramas about ancient Viking sagas and Norse heroes, with the new Valhalla taking place a century after the original show. The first season of the sequel series was released on Netflix on February 25. Valhalla shows the beginnings for Norse legends Leif Erikson, Sam Corlett, who is thought to be the first European to have set foot in North America, Freydis Eirik's daughter, Frida Gustafsson, sister to Leif and early North American colonist, as well as Harald Hardrada, Leo Suter, who was a king of Norway. Your position as Queen of England. The show also features other historical figures like Emma of Normandy, Laura Berlin, Anne Olaf Haraldsson, Johannes Hawker Johannesson, though their places in history seem to have been altered a bit. The show was filmed in Wicklow, Ireland, where the original series was filmed, in 2020 and 2021, with production being halted due to positive COVID tests within the cast and crew. Valhalla ends season one with a battle that shows audiences the beginning of the end of the Viking Age, the famous Battle of Stamford Bridge. Stewart spoke with Decider about how the battle was pivotal for Leif Erikson and what we can expect from the character moving forward. Erikson loses his girlfriend, Liv, in the fight. Get him out of my hole! Liv is said to keep Erikson grounded and at peace despite the anger he inherited from his father, Eric the Red, a Viking famously exiled from two different countries. Erikson goes berserk, with the season's final shot showing him standing bloodied over the bodies of fallen men. Read Stewart's full quote about the character's breaking point, I think having him reach that point, there's a part of Leif that I always wanted to play with, which is, he and Freitas are the children of Eric the Red. And we know that Eric the Red had a very dark underbelly to him as well. He was a Norse Viking who was expelled to Iceland. He killed somebody in Iceland, he was expelled, and he had to find Greenland. Who is this guy? We must be smart. Go back to Kattegat and tell Håkon what we found. And why did he spawn these two children who are very different, and yet they embody different parts of their father? So I think you're seeing a little Eric the Red come out at the end there, and what he does is that character is very exciting in the future. Moving forward, it is likely that viewers will see more of Erikson's transition as a character. With reports that Vikings, Valhalla Season 2 has finished filming, the cast knows just what's in store for their characters. <laughs> Sam Corlett, who plays Leif Erikson, said that it only took the loss of someone he deeply loved that he feels responsible for to erupt. Now that it's erupted, going from here can't say too much about season two, but can he contain it? Does it take over him, or can he dance with it in a way that is helpful? In real life, Ericsson became a large part of Viking history, so it will be interesting to see how his story translates to the screen. Netflix reportedly picked up Valhalla for three seasons and 24 episodes in total, but it is said that Stewart hopes for five. The original Vikings ran for six seasons, so it is not out of the realm of possibility for the Netflix sequel to do something similar. However Netflix's reputation for cancelling shows could strike at any moment, so only time will tell if Stewart will get to tell his whole story for Vikings, Valhalla. Where is Forkbeard? Where he should be.